How's it going, everyone? This is JJ with my bring back. Um, going over FileZilla and uh, wanted to touch base on an FTP client. An FTP client is a file transfer protocol. You're going to be using this to upload files to your web hosting accounts, whether it's different platforms that you're going to launch or just uh, regular files, pictures, images, uh, different files that you've tweaked, modified. So I want to go over uh, FileZilla, how to, how to actually install it, and then just give you a brief overview of how the program actually works. So as you can see, we're on their website now. Uh, simplicity's sake, google.com, FileZilla, first thing that comes up. Click into the website, and you're there. Um, as you can see, it's an open source, free program. So it works great. Uh, great program that I found the industry uses uses quite a bit. Um, and then right on the front page, we've got quick download links. If uh, if these aren't here, over here on the left side, you've got uh, the FileZilla server side, the FileZilla client side. Um, client side is most typically used unless you're using advanced server um, stuff. So go ahead and click the download FileZilla client, and uh, you'll see the different platforms. So whether you're running Windows or whether you're running Linux or Mac OS, in my case I'm using uh, running Mac OS Intel version. So go ahead and click uh, your version, get it downloaded. After it downloads, um, you've got the zip file. Go ahead and unzip the file. And so I already have, um, just for time's sake. But after you've unzipped the file, go ahead and open the program. And we are we are ready. So as you open the program, we've got uh, a few things that you notice. We've got a host box that we can fill in, user, password, port, and you guys are wondering what, what are these for? Well, I'll, I'll explain those in a minute, but let's just go over kind of the general view of this. Um, we've got basically four boxes. We've got a local site. We've got another box here, remote site, another box here. These are uh, basically your file centers. So right here on the local site, this left side, are files that are on your computer, on your hard drive. Um, so as you can see, I've got a WordPress download off of WordPress.org, and uh, that I'm going to show you how to how to upload different files for that. Um, so right here we've got the files or the uh, so excuse me the folders, and then down here we've got the files within those folders, and then that's going to be the same thing with the with the hosting server side over here. We'll have the files, and then we'll have the the, or, I'm sorry the folders and then we'll have the files underneath so now let's go to the important part the important part is setting up an FTP account with your hosting with your hosting account um, and the reason being is you don't want just anyone uploading files or deleting files off your web hosting accounts so you want to keep it secure um, so I'm gonna take you to my cPanel and show you how you can set up an account and then we'll go back to FileZilla and set that up. So I uh, I recommend Bluehost, HostGator, um, top two that I would recommend as far as simplicity's sake. Um, if you go to the cPanel and a Bluehost, HostGator, you're gonna see a lot of different links in here. Um, and so what we're looking for is FTP accounts. You can either click the find here and search for FTP accounts or you can go down to in Bluehost where the file section is and you'll see FTP accounts. Go ahead and click there and uh, open up. Now typically they, they set up file uh, FTP accounts when you first open your hosting account and give you a generic with a password so you can get set up right away. Um, as you can see right here, Jake at mybringback.com is our, is our FTP account, also Travis at mybringback.com. And if you don't remember the password, again, you can change the password, you can configure FTP clients, um, or you can set up a new one. Uh, it could be demo, demo at mybringback.com, password, make sure it's secure, and then you can create an account. Um, in our case, I don't need to do that. Um, but if you don't see an FTP accounts, or anything on your web hosting account, uh, click the help on your site and search for FTP. And typically, the web hosting accounts that that are out there will have you know Uber information on how to set up FTP because it is pretty important, really important and easy to use. Um, so after you've got your your accounts set up, um, we're going to go back to FileZilla and the host here. 
um, typically gonna be just your domain name so it's gonna be uh, in our case my bring back.com the other possibility that it could be is uh, just in front of your domain FTP dot my bring back.com so it could be FTP dot your domain dot com or just your domain dot com uh, in this case it's my bring back dot com and again go back to your hosting account and make sure um, which way they they prefer the username Jake at my bring back dot com password uh, I won't I won't let you know that but uh, anyway quick connect after you've got your username password you can see over here we've got all the validation making sure we're legit um, and then we've got files we've got directories that pop up so as you can see we've got uh, a bunch of directories and this is what is on our actually hosting account um, for the sake of this demo I've created a separate separate directory that we're gonna mess around with so it doesn't affect anything um, you can you can add new directories you can create new directories you can delete them from here there's there's quite a few options if you right click into here so this demo one I just created a new directory um, to keep everything separate and so if you double click it you can see it's empty right now so again here's our folders and then we've got the files within those folders um, so next I just want to quick briefly uh, show you how to transfer something from your computer over into your hosting account or your server um, simply click click the item from your your local host here and then drag it over into the correct directory that you want to bring it into um, another way to do it is uh, actually grab the files from wherever you'd like um, in this case I'll, I'll go back into the WordPress grab these files and you can do the same thing just pulling out of a a um, oh there we go what oh okay uh, so we it looks like we duplicated a file because I was using the same file so it's asking do you want to overwrite or you can skip etc we're just gonna overwrite um, so you can pull out of uh, your actual finder uh, windows like that and then uh, throw it up on the server and then you can do the same thing vice versa if you uh, if you don't want the files in your directories or on your host server you can delete them out of there through your FTP client um, so that's pretty much it that's uh, just the basics of FileZilla how to install it how to get it hooked into your hosting account with your username password and then uh, how to transfer files back and forth um, crucial when you're actually putting platforms into your site as well as images and other things that uh, you're that you're loading onto your server for your website so stay tuned we'll be going over some other things on how to uh, how to modify your website how to add different things into it on the next tutorial videos so uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up um, subscribe to our videos and uh, we'll keep uh, helping you guys out thanks a lot